Okay. So this minion of mine. Wants. This with high dose infusion, but that's a little bit of a pain to do for um, making it so it's buttered on both sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so that the can of oil is in the pan and toasts on one side, but then I'm going to be flipping it and I want to make sure that it's an even coating on the other side. So to ensure that the other side is an even coating, I'm just going to butter it. So basically I'm just making this kid a uh, mozzarella and bacon bit nan sandwich, grilled cheese. But I'm fussy and I don't like certain textures, so we're actually going to toast the nan on both sides. It'll make sense when you see it. It'll be fine. What was that? I said thank you. Oh, you're welcome, honey. Okay. So set that aside. We're gonna need some ch not cheddar. It's mozzarella, and this was actually in the freezer, which means it's gonna be a real pain to try to grate. But look at it crumble. You know, why bother breaking out the grater when you can just give her a quick little crumble like that? And that happened because I bought it and threw it in the freezer first. It's been thawed. And it'll melt just fine. Oh, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. If you've got a fry pan, okay, and we may or may not be about to pop the breaker. Let's find out. Okay, so that's there. bacon bits, and you know what? I want a quesadilla, and I like a little cheddar in my quesadillas. <laughs> yes, oh, and nothing sponsored. There's no brands. If you see a brand name fly past your face, it's because I didn't get the chat packaging put away first. Again, this cheese is going to be super easy to crumble because I stored it in the freezer for a little while first. And now it just crumbles apart into these wonderful little chunks. Curds, as you would. It doesn't take long to heat up. Let's go wash my hands. Nice and sizzle going. Okay. 
Okay. This is some more high dose CBN oil that I'm always talking about doing. It's one of my preferred medicating methods. Come on. I'd like to point out that I was very, very careful there whether it looked like it or not. like I added maybe a little too much oil in there, but that's okay. We'll get it with the other piece of nan too. Now, do I have a spatula? That's handy. I do have a spatula. I want that weed oil on this other one before it gets seared. I don't want any singed up oil in my Mr. Man's, my Mr. Berserker Man's freaking sandwich, if I can avoid it. And I know it looks awful dark and seared already, but to be fair, it was a dark green-brown oil to begin with. So what's being touching the fry pan right now and what's on the top is actually the outside, or, or sorry, is actually the inside. I'm frying it up. But the goal here is to actually have this be the inside of the sandwich. getting a bit of a toast. This coconut oil puck can go back in the freezer. Okay. Oh, that smells so good. <laughs> Bread of cheese. Then I'm going to take a handful here. Bacon bits. And cover with some more matzah. And I did not actually touch the pan there. I know it looks like I'm awful close when you're coming in from above, but I'm literally touching just the cheese. And then we take this and we put the toasted side down. And I betcha. There we go. <laughs> it's a smiley face. That's actually kind of fun. And then when that side gets a bit of a toast, we'll put away some ingredients. I'm going to mix the cheddar and the mozzarella together. Look at that. 
A little softer on the edges, though. hard to keep the cheese taken care of and putting away, but you know, it's gone so darn fast in this house. It almost feels pointless. But that's okay. Because it's not. It just feels like it. Back round we go. It's a little on the dark side, but that's okay. He typically likes it that way. Oh. And in. Now we're going to give this thing a quick wipe out. It's getting softer and softer as I go. I think that needs some more butter underneath. Get in there, you. Bunch of cheese. It's actually a lot of cheese. And then I'm actually going to take and I'm going to add some chili powder. Some garlic powder. Some black pepper. Bit of salt. I like the pink salt because it's very light. Oh, look at it go. Too darn hot. Turn down you. It's still a new pan. I don't know if you can tell, but it's super shiny. So sooner or later, I will learn to gauge this pan. And my stuff will come out pretty every time. But there's always a learning curve with new equipment. Besides, it's not that bad. It's just a little dark. Did I stir that before I started? I don't think I did. Watch this part. like it was raw before. I just want it toasted. Okay. Now, access a big old knife for cutting up things. This thing is going to cool itself off. So 
blueberries. So there is. Let's see. I'm hoping you guys can see this. I'm not lined up with my camera. But there is his cheesy bacon sandwich on Nan. And there is, whoop! <laughs> and there is my quesadilla. Isn't that beauty? Just gonna stick those on a plate and get people fed. <laughs> 